Before we talk about the future, I just want to ask uh, what you thought of the organization's decision to fire the last staff. Um, you know, you obviously had the relationship with Pat Graham coming in and uh, we're a captain with them. So just wondering what you thought of that whole decision, whether it was the right one. Yeah, I think for me, I'm, I'm just a player. I, I don't get to be in those decision, decisions. Um, for me, it's just one of the things about the business. I learned that early on in my career. Um, obviously, great relationships, like you said, with all those guys. Um, we'll continue to have great relationships with them. And now it's uh, moving forward and excited for OTAs. Dan Duggan. Hey Blake, uh, just curious for an update on you know kind of your timeline with your injury. Do you have a, a target date when you think you'll be back 100% on the field? Yeah, for me right now, it's just focusing it day by day, um, trying to get each uh, checkpoint, um, doing the things the trainers try to, or have me doing for rehab, and then all the strength staff, um, what they have me doing in the weight room. Um, all I can say is it's it's going well, and just uh, excited to keep chopping wood and um, make that progress. There's a lot of talk from other uh, players, from other teams, about the MetLife turf. I mean, when you look back at your injury, is that that's something you wondered? Was it something to do with the turf? Is that something you can diagnose or figure out after the fact? Uh, not too much. I think for me, um, I think it was more my my cleats. I could have done. Um, I, I wore those, I think, a little bit too long, and my foot was sliding in it. Um, so I just planted awkwardly with the kind of worn out cleats, and it caused it to kind of happen. Rosenblatt. Hey Blake, um, I, I was wondering what you think about uh, going into Wink Martindale's defense. Obviously, he's known for being pretty blitz happy. I'm just curious if you're uh, you're excited about the prospect of getting at the quarterback a little more. Oh yeah, I mean everyone loves to to make sack, make big plays. Um, no, super excited. Uh, Wink's obviously the first day with him today. Just being able to see the culture and his mindset and just. Uh, the way he kind of commands the room, uh, I think it was just a great start to OTAs today and kind of, like I said before, just excited moving forward with it. Ryan Dunleavy. Hey, Blake. Ob good to see you. Obviously, you had to uh, restructure your contract here to come back. I'm wondering if you could take me through that process, like, were you insulted by that? Did you feel that it was part of the business? Did you consider saying no and maybe taking your shot in free agency? How did that go? Oh, yeah. I mean, it was one of the uh, a definite difficult decision. Um, but I think for me, it all came down to my family. Um, I think being able to have the structure and the ability to have my daughters in the schools they're in and have that situation handled. Um, I just love playing football, and I knew – uh, what the coaches brought here from my time being rehabbing here and those type of things and that interactions. Uh, and I just felt confident knowing that I can go out there and improve uh, the type of player I am coming back from my injury. Paul Schwartz. Hey, Blake, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, um, you know, you had such a, a good relationship with, with Patrick Graham, obviously, and, and you know, coach on the field, you know, you guys were like one. Um, are you concerned or excited about being able to do that with Wink? Do you think Wink wants that from you? Um, you know, how, how does that new dynamic happen? And you've got to also, you know, rehab and prove you can do all the things on the field that they would want you to. No, 100%. I think that's the part that came into my decision as well. And I think for me, I always wanted to be the person that thrives in the uncomfortable because um, I could possibly easily left and went with somewhere that's comfortable and those types of things, people I knew or people that I played with before. Um, but being able to go here and, and come back from my knee injury, go show Wink and, like you said, build that relationship with him throughout training camp, all the, the process OTAs and everything is, I think, going to be that much more rewarding um, when, it, when it happens. And, and they obviously asked you to take a pay cut, but did they also tell you that – you know, we think you can lead our defense. You know, was was there that give and take also, or was it kind of like, well, we'll wait and see? Yeah, I think their big motto is that, hey, obviously they they wanted me to stay here, um, and I think it was mutual on both sides. And I think for them, they just basically told me, hey, everyone's going to earn their spot. Um, obviously, you're coming back from a knee injury, um, coming out here and showing us that you could be the Blake that you were before um, is obviously what we're looking for. Thank you. Yep. We'll take a couple more. Ralph Bacchiano. Hey, Blake. Good to see you. Um, 
how you talked about getting back to being the, the Blake Martinez you were before. How difficult a challenge is that for you? I mean, you're in a year where, as you alluded to, you, you've got to prove yourself to a new coaching staff, you know, you, to maybe earn a new contract in the future. And at the same time, you have to get healthy first to do any of that. Um, how big of a challenge is that that you think you're facing this season? Yeah, I think for me, it's part of the part of the business. And I know for myself, um, what I've accomplished through my six years going on my seventh year, um, I always have to take a step back and look at those things. And I think for me, it's just taking it one step at a time and not getting ahead of myself. Um, and I think just taking it, uh, going through the process of re rehabbing my knee, doing the things I need to do and taking each checkpoint and open strides, um, I'm going to be able to be happy with what I'm, I'm turning myself into, regardless of um, the Blake of the old or this new Blake that I'm forming right now. Last one, Tom Canavan. Hey, Blake, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, just a quick question. I mean, you renegotiated, Shep renegotiated, Dory renegotiated, uh, uh, Ryan was let go. Um, James looks like he's being shopped around. I mean, when you look at all of this, I mean, is there a reason to be excited about the prospect of next year based on what's gone on in the last five? Uh, I mean, that's one of the things. It's just you can't look at one thing similar to the other and you can't dwell on the past going into the future. And I think for us as a team, um, we're all excited with the coaching staff that's came in. Obviously, we got to have our actual like football moments today on the first day and uh, you could just see the excitement the enthusiasm the the want to just make us better to be a better team and I think that's what kind of every single person is going to go off of it's that everyday instance and then obviously when the season comes around everyone wants to win and that's what it comes down to and when those things happen everything else is going to line up in the right right direction